What is up, awesome peeps? Brent McCluskey here with Electrified Reviews, and today we are reviewing the Nan Robot D4 Plus folding electric scooter. This thing is fast, this thing is powerful, it's heavy, it's got full suspension, and it's honestly just a lot of fun to ride. Also, we are going to be announcing the giveaway results for the Lumos helmet uh, somewhere in this video, so stick around for that. And yeah, here we go. All right guys, so again, this is the Nan Robot D4 Plus folding electric scooter. And before we do dive into this, I just wanna point out that I found some really, uh, this is a really cool area to film. I found this a uh, couple of reviews ago. I think it was during the, the Stealth Bomber review. We got these cool tractors here. Check those bad boys out. Got some dope tractors way out there. And look at this, like, just all that hay stacked up. <laughs> like just some like random cool little construction sites. So I figured uh, we would shoot another uh, another video here. Right, so Nan Robot D4 Plus folding electric scooter. Guys, look, realistically here, this is um, this is one of the most fun scooters that we have tested. It is just, it is really powerful. It is really fast. Uh, it's just, it's 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 wicked, man. It's just crazy. It really is. It's it's really intense. This thing starts with a price point of thirteen ninety nine. So that's kind of expensive, right? Right off the bat, let's just get that out of the way. That is definitely ninety nine. So I think it's gonna be considered an affordable electric scooter though still, even though it's still kind of expensive, especially for what you get with this. There's, there's a lot of value in this. That price is not too bad in my opinion, $13.99 for all the, the, all the upgrades and or just all the features this thing has. But with that said, the price can get, it can get, uh, it can get more expensive pretty quick, okay? So to start, uh, this is the stock model. This is how it comes right here. This is what it looks like, right? Now, if I wanted to put a seat on this, I can. There is an option to get a seat, but it's a hundred bucks extra, right? It attaches right there towards the end. Uh, you can sit down and ride this thing, but again, hundred bucks. So now we're looking at the uh, $14.99, okay? If I want an extended warranty for this, which I think I would, right, for the price point here, that's an extra hundred bucks for a one-year warranty, or for two years, it's like 189 bucks. So what is that, $14.99, $15.99? Almost six, almost 1700 bucks now with all the accessories. So base price is a really good deal, but it can start to get a little expensive. So that will be a choice. Obviously you guys have to make, do you want the warranty, you know, the extended warranty, do you want that seat or is it fine this way? So with that being said, I want to start back here with the motors and talk about the power because the power is awesome here. So this is a dual drive electric scooter. Okay. There's, there's a motor in the back here and there's a motor in the front. These motors have a output of 1,000 watts each or a combined total, obviously, of 2,000 watts. <laughs> 2,000 watts. Uh, that's really powerful. There's the other motor right here in the front. So 2,000 watts of power, man. And you can feel the power in this beast. Like, it, it's peppy right from the start and it's peppy until you reach the max speed of 40 miles per hour. It's just, it's got a lot of pull all the way through. Honestly, it's a little scary the first time you take it out. Um, it takes a second to get used to. Like that's how powerful it is. Honestly, it's it's quite a powerful machine. So definitely want to caution you guys um, for safety gear here with this thing. I for this helmet or for this uh, scooter because of speed. I'm using my trusty Rock helmet, uh, full face. I just want that extra protection. I should be wearing like you know you know like a like wrist guards or like pads or something else. Honestly, because it's so. It is so fast, but that's what I'm wearing. Full helmet, whatever, should be, should be good enough. Also, since we're back here with the motors, let's talk about these tires real quick. So these are gonna be pneumatic tires. 
eight inches tall by I think 2.25 inches wide. The pneumatic tires, because there's air in them, it does provide a little bit of shock absorption, but not a whole bunch. Really what it does, it just provides a ton of traction. So the tires here are nice. Um, one thing I want to point out about these tires though is again, these are eight inch tires. Even It says it right on the, on the sidewalls there, okay? Now on the website, it says that these are 10 inch tires. And on the display of this, I'm like 100% sure that it's been programmed for 10 inch tires. So the speedometer is way off on this thing. It's, it reads way higher speeds than the true speed. And for the life of me, I could not figure out a way to adjust the tire size in the menu. Maybe there's a way to do it. I don't know if you guys have one of these and can figure it out, like leave it in the comments, that would be really helpful because it would be nice to have an accurate speedometer like when you're riding to know how fast you're going instead of having to use like, you know, my Apple watch or something, right? For speed, like who wants to do that? But otherwise though, tires are nice. Uh, you can fill them up just like any other tire right there, right? You just pump it up with like a regular bike pump, no big deal. Battery down here, really low and it's inside the frame. A really nice low center of gravity here. It just keeps this thing really stable. 52 volt system, 23 amp hour battery. Um, that's a big battery guys. So the estimated range on this is gonna be about 35 miles, but really like we always say, I mean range is just, it's so dependent on how I ride it, how heavy I am, uh, what kind of terrain I'm tackling, how many hills I'm going up, stuff like that. So you could get more than 35 miles, you could get substantially less. It just depends on where you're going, right? Like if I'm going on, on off-road trails like this, which I think this, this machine can handle some light off-road like this, yeah, I'm gonna get less mileage than if I'm going on the streets, right? So just keep that in mind. If you do get this, you're like, ah, the mileage is actually about 20, 25. Yeah, it might be around 20, 25, depending on how you're riding it. It might be around 40, <laughs> depending on how you're riding it. Really the best metric to determine how much juice you've got in this thing is gonna be, or on any electric vehicle, is the battery size. And that's why we always wanna point that out. So again, this is 52 volt, 23 amp hour. That's how much juice you got for this machine. This is gonna be an aluminum alloy frame, 6061 aluminum alloy and it's got a curb weight of about 60 pounds, so it is heavy. But it doesn't feel like it's heavy when you're riding it. Full suspension, we've got a spring here in the back. Um, it does have like a preload adjust. Honestly, this, I don't know how much, uh, I don't know how much suspension these, these shocks have. Probably around 30 to 50 millimeters, not a ton. Honestly, the preload doesn't do a whole lot here, it's just, you know, you kind of what you get is what you get with these with these shocks. Suspension in the front as well. You've got these four spring suspension. Um, no rebound adjust here. No preload adjust. These are really springy springs, and what that means is going over a big bump, a single big bump is is great. Does a good job of soaking that up. However, for a series of bumps, because of that really high rebound rate it's not super stable. So again, that's why I'm saying like light off-road, yeah, absolutely. Stuff like stuff like this that you're seeing in the background, totally you can take it off like this. Big jumps, you know, stuff like that, probably not the best idea. Um, so what I'm saying is look, the suspension here does a good job of mitigating bumps. You can go off-road, just it's, don't take it off, don't take it off like serious, serious stuff, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't do that. Brakes on this thing. What I love about this is, for the braking is that it has two primary braking sources. It has an electronic brake and it has mechanical disc brakes front and rear. Let me get, a, get you a shot of that real quick. It's gonna be a shaded shot, but that's all right. There's the uh, front disc brake right there. Nice, look at that, look at that beautiful pan. Oh, love it. God, I love this gimbal, man. If you guys haven't tried the DJI gimbal, you gotta try this thing. It's just so nice, so buttery smooth. There's the rear disc right there. Now, Let's talk about this, these mechanical brakes here real quick. So the brake assembly on this machine, it's okay. It's not great, honestly. Um, there's a lot of gap in between the actual, like uh, the, the pads and the actual like rotor. I've tried adjusting them to kind of close that up and I just wasn't able to do it. I think if there's anything on this machine that needs to be upgraded, it would be the physical brakes, okay? Again, they're okay, they're not fantastic. Um, they could use upgrading, honestly. But on the other hand, the electronic braking on this is stupid powerful. It is the most, like by far the most powerful 
electronic braking that I've that I've ever tested before. Um, the good news about that is I can use that as a primary braking and it will really slow you down. I mean, really, really hard and really fast. And then you can use the mechanical the mechanical brakes like the last you know little bit of speed, right? So I do love that. Um, honestly, electronic braking is like so powerful on this that you you might even want to turn it down. Uh, what you can do in the settings, you can adjust the strength of the electronic braking. So you guys might want to end up turning it down because if you get this, you'll see what I'm saying. I mean, it is like, it's you, it's so strong that you have to like brace yourself. Wait, look, I got to set this down so you can see what I'm talking about here. Like when you brake on this, you can't just brake like standing up. Like you have to like lean back and brace, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, like you're just putting a lot of pressure on the stem here. You don't want that. And it's just, it's it's really strong braking is what I'm saying. So, I don't know. I like that. Not a big fan of the mechanical brakes, but together they do form a really, they do give you a lot of braking power. So that's good. We've also got integrating lights, integrated lights on this in the front here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on real quick so you can see it. Let me just flip this key. Ah! Hit the power button, turn that on. I mean, I can really be able to see here what the lights look like in the broad daylight, but um, yeah, front light there, you can see it is on. Okay. And we got nice little kind of brake lights in the back. Actually, I'm gonna get, put that in the shade. There we go. So I've got these little bulbs here in the back, one, and on the other side, boom, two. So really it's got, uh, you know, full integrated lighting, not something you always see. Not super bright. They're good for like increasing visibility as what I mean by that is like, you've got a light source pointing out and in the back, you know, out the front and out the back. So cars can kind of see you, but you're not gonna really illuminate your path that much at night. So if you are riding this at night, I would definitely suggest getting an aftermarket light. Something with like, I don't know, at least a thousand lumens, preferably like 1600 lumens or so. Throw, throw it on the handlebars, on your helmet, whatever. That way you can really see what's in front of you. Again, just kind of a safety thing, right? Now I mentioned uh, that this is a folding scooter, so I'm gonna go and fold it for you guys. Well, let me show you real quick actually. So to fold this thing, there's gonna be uh, this locking mechanism, that red piece right there, and that silver little latch. So it's a two-stage two locker, which is great because it keeps the stem really nice and securely locked in place, which is really what you want, especially if you're going off-road. You do not want this thing collapsing on you. So I appreciate that Nanrobot has uh, you know, that extra locking strength, because um, that's, really, that's really important here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to lock, or how to fold this up real quick. So again, we'll start by just unlatching this, boom. Once that's done, we'll kick this up real quick. This little lever right here, this piece, I'm just gonna pull that forward. And then as soon as you bring it down to the, to the right spot here, it locks the stem. You can pick it up like that. You can also fold down the handlebars here so it makes it even more streamlined, makes it easier to fit this thing in the trunk of a car, whatever. Unfolding it, same thing, just in reverse. Hit that button, bring it up, deploy the kickstand, throw that down, push up this red lever, boom. It takes like two seconds. It's actually a really easy um, locking, mechanism, locking mechanism to operate. It doesn't take very long at all. So up here on the display, we've got some, uh, some cool stuff to talk about as well. On the left-hand side, we have the this on-off switch. Let me focus this again. On-off switch, this is for the lights right here. So if I turn this on and off, it'll trigger the lights. Horn. <laughs> you can probably hear it's actually quite loud. And then we've got a couple different modes that you can switch this thing in. So you can do eco and turbo. And you can also do single drive and dual drive. So you can actually turn off one of the motors if you want to. And you can throw an eco mode and that's how you're really going to get like, I mean, just like massive mileage. You can just go for days, right? Or you can put it in turbo mode, dual motor, and you can just go super fast. So it just kind of depends on what you want. This is a turnkey or a key operated system here. So you do have to have the keys uh, in the ignition in order to operate it. And then once that's done, you can, there we go, yeah. You can turn on the display here uh, just by hitting the power button. Just go and do that, turn it off, turn it back on for you. There we go. So just a long press of the power button and it comes to life. That's what it looks like right there. It's got the speed up top, but like I was saying, it's kind of not accurate right now. It's way, way higher than it should be. Battery indicator, 
time riding, and then you can switch like uh, like gear, like what gear you're in, not gear, but like what power level you're in, one through three. You can do that by pressing the, the mode button right there. But what's cool about this is it actually has an independent voltage reader, which you probably can't see it. Um, it's really hard to see this that voltage indicator in the broad daylight, but it does give you a voltage reading. Uh, so you can really have a very precise, you, you really know how much juice is left because you've got the actual voltage right there. I really appreciate that. The only gripe I have about that is I wish it was a better display, this one right here, because frankly, it's just, it's just you can't see it. You can't see it in the daylight. Like you have to like cover it and even then you can barely see it. So, you know, not the worst thing in the world, but whatever. Um, oh, it also has a telescoping stem. Right here, you can unlatch that piece right here. And you can see in the front, we've got uh, kind of three little locking pins. It'll just like drop or you can bring it up. So you can adjust the height of the stem here. Um, I like that. It would be cool, I think, if on a future version, they had more, uh, more levels. So you can see the gap, the spacing here is about like that. So it'd be cool if there was like one in the middle, one here, one here, you know what I'm saying? Like just give us a few more options here for that. I appreciate the wire wrapping on this. They did a really good job of keeping it clean. You can see it's all wrapped up. Nice and clean right there. As you guys know, I love that. I hate messy wires. Goes through the stem and you can see it comes out the bottom right there. Goes into the, uh, the frame right there and yeah, it's all nice and clean. So I think this is, uh, uh, what's the IP rating? 53 or something like that. I don't remember it's in the, in the written review. Um, on electrofiderviews.com, we'll have the uh, the IP rating there. But basically, this is water resistant. Like, you can drive it through the rain, you can drive it through small puddles, but you don't want to submerge this thing. Uh, it's not completely waterproof. It is water resistant. One last thing to point out here before we do an actual ride portion is this. Check this out. Focus. There we go. Okay. So we've got two charging ports right here. So it comes with one battery charger, three prong. Stick it in right there charges up. If you have an extra battery charger, boom, you can plug that one in too and it'll charge twice as fast. Really, really like that. Dual charging port is amazing. I love it. All high capacity batteries should have that. Um, it's just, it's awesome. The only thing is though, these little rubber grommets that are on here, like look, you can see they're not super secure. Like these things do fall off while I'm riding. And so dirt and dust, grime, gunk, water, condensation, all that stuff is going to build up in here over time and that might cause an issue. So I would just recommend, you know, kind of checking the charging ports every once in a while, maybe getting a Q-tip, cleaning those out, just making sure they're nice and clean so, so that you don't get an issue when you're charging it. But uh, yeah, man, for real, no exaggeration, man, like bottom of my heart, this thing is fun. It is one of the most fun scooters we've ever tested. It is just dope. It is so much fun. So enough talking about it, right? Let's, uh, let's get some ride shots of this bad boy.
All right, awesome peeps. That is pretty much it for the Nan Robot D4 Plus folding electric scooter review. So in summary, look, again, this thing costs $13.99. That's the starting price for the scooter. But remember, while that is actually, I think, a pretty good deal for what we're getting with this scooter, that price can climb pretty quickly if you do want that folding seat that you can add on here. That's another 100 bucks. If you do want that extended warranty, remember one year is gonna be 99 bucks, two years is 189 or something like that. So, I mean, that price starts to get a lot more uh, pretty quick if you want those extra features. But again, the base model here is, I think it's a really good deal for what it offers. I think this scooter is really going to be geared towards somebody who's seriously commuting, like somebody who needs a serious, hardcore, scoomuting electric scooter. You like that term, scoomuting? Uh, somebody left that in the comments on one of the last videos. I thought it was awesome. So we will be using that from now on for electric scooters that are commuters, or as we should say, scoomuters. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, right. Um, so I think it's gonna be a great choice for people who wanna commute, especially for people who have really steep hills or who are really looking to kind of keep up with traffic. You know, 35, 40 mile per hour top speed here. This thing is gonna be really good for um, going on side streets and I mean, really keeping up with traffic. I mean, you can go really fast on this thing. The range, 35 miles or, or around there, you know, for that battery, that's going to again be geared towards people who are commuting with this thing. That 23 amp hour battery gives a lot of juice. Um, and again, for people who've got the hills, they're gonna need that extra juice so you don't run out of battery. So this is obviously a lot more than just a fun toy. This is a practical vehicle. And at that price point at $13.99, I mean, you gotta consider, do you want something like this? Do you want an electric bike? Do you want, I mean, you could even buy a cheap used car for that price. So while I think it's in the affordable price range, um, really, again, this is going to be just a decision you guys have to make uh, for you. Is this, is this the right vehicle for you? So hopefully this video helps you to decide that. We think this is a great purchase. We think this is a great, uh, a great price for what's being offered here. And honestly, it's one of the most fun electric scooters that we've ever tested. It's just got a lot of torque, a lot of power, uh, and it's a lot of fun to ride. So uh, giveaway, yes, the giveaway results. Okay, I will not forget that this time. I remember it. So for the Lumos helmet, giveaway that we were doing in the last review here. Um, if I can get my Apple Watch to cooperate. Come on, Apple Watch, there we go. Okay, yes, I, ha I have the winner here. So remember guys, there was quite a few ways to enter for this giveaway. As with all giveaways, you can leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe to the channel, and on the website, electrifiedreviews.com, where the full written review was for that Loomis helmet, we had laid out, you know, I think four or five different options to get extra entries. So we pull all those together. We have picked the winner. No, I don't want Siri, I don't. No, Siri thinks I'm saying pick the winner. I don't mind talking to you, Siri. The winner is Super Guppy with the comment, I need a good helmet in my life. So congratulations, Super Guppy, for the for winning the Lumos helmet. Um, hope you're going to be enjoying that helmet. Go ahead and give us a shout. Uh, we'll drop our email address in the description of this video. You can contact us and we'll get you sorted out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving this channel lately. It is awesome. Keep it up. If you enjoy this video, please do give a like, sub, comment, you know, all that fun stuff. It really does help a lot and it really helps so that we guys, so that we can give back to you guys for more giveaways. So again, thank you. Really appreciate it. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you guys next time.